Hey, Warriors. I wanted to talk about panic, panic attacks for a minute. So, I was driving and I had a full-blown panic attack. I tried to rush home to get my meds that I take for panic attacks. A lot of people don't know about panic attacks until they experience them. And even when you experience them, you still don't know exactly what it is. I experienced panic attacks years before I was diagnosed with MS due to a lot of stress on my life dealing with a certain situation. Well, these panic attacks are real. They're like heart attacks. They feel like you're about to just flat out die. You have an overwhelming feeling in your gut, in your chest, like something is going wrong and it's the most dangerous thing ever that you're about to encounter. Like I said, death. When I say my throat feel like it was shutting down on me and I'm just driving and driving and driving. I put on um, anxiety meditation on YouTube I call my daughter and I'm like, listen, I need you to look for this certain med that, um, that's in there. Find this med for me and have it at the door when I pull up. You know, and she's sleeping, you know, really not understanding the importance of it because it's not something that her body experiences. It's not something that she goes through. And it's like, I've always been the kind of person, like, I understood people and what they experienced and what they went through, even if I didn't go through it, even if it wasn't me personally. But not everybody is me, so I have to accept the fact that people are not going to understand because they ain't going through it. Eventually, she came to the door with the man that I was looking for, and I do appreciate her for that. But it's kind of hard. It's really, really hard um, living with an illness. And then being diagnosed with additional things and people don't understand it. There's no one to relate to it. And even if you were diagnosed with a certain illness, you would still people have people with that same illness feel some kind of way. They'll feel some kind of way if they're not where you're at or if they feel like they far off from where you're at, you know. <sighs> Which I look at people who have MS that is doing so good. When I say running, jumping, biking, hiking, doing all this other stuff, I'd be like, damn, I'm encouraged, you know? Like, I really am encouraged by that. I don't feel no ill will. I don't feel jealous. I don't feel envious. I don't feel none of that. I just be like, okay, that's going to be me one day. And I keep the fight alive. But not everybody feel like that, you know? So I came on here like, I'm going to inspire somebody who had this illness. But I realized that I might not inspire nobody because some people just can't handle it. You know, I might inspire other people who just have flat out disabilities and do not give up. So I'm not limiting myself to just warriors with MS. I'm talking about warriors in general. Anybody who's been diagnosed with the illness that keep pushing along, you know, that lives with a disability, learn that this is the ability that God is going to use you in. When I say I got to my home and I just, after taking the med, I was listening to meditation music and then I called someone else who battled uh, um, autoimmune illness. And I spoke with her. Um, she does my hair, Chantel. Thank you so much. I spoke to her and I just cried. I cried in that moment because I don't like to feel defeated. I don't like to feel like when I feel defeated, I feel weak. I'm so used to doing shit on my own. I'm all I got at the end of the day. I don't have a support system like that. I have good friends. I don't even have a family that fucking support me. Like, I'm pretty sure my family know by now I have MS. But they probably don't know the depths of MS. They probably don't know shit about MS. They don't know the battles that I went through, the nights that I had to stay, nights at the hospital, that my children was home or they went to a friend house. They don't know none of the times that I went through the things I went through with MS. Um, just being without transportation, without a job, making it off 160 a month, literally surviving off 160 a month. Don't ask me how I did it. I ain't had to sell no coochie, no ass, no nothing. I survived off 160 a month. And I just know it's nothing but God. I can't tell you what got me through those points or how the money was supplemented or how I survived it, but I survived. Baby, when I say I survived, I survived. But I just really want to take my time and tell y'all, like, panic attacks are real. 
Like they are really real. So not only do I battle with MS, I battle with panic attacks and no motherfuckers hit hard. And when they hit, it feel like death is coming. It's a hard thing. It's really, really hard. But people don't understand that. I just want y'all to be really sympathetic when somebody tell y'all they battle mentally with things. They battle with a physical disability. Be thanking God it's not you. And learn something about it if it's somebody that you rock with. And that's on everything. I've been out all day. I've been doing really, really good. It's my friend wedding tomorrow. So I'm going to push through because I'm not done trying to prepare, prepare for her wedding. But I'm letting y'all know that these illness are real. And if y'all fuck with somebody and y'all love them, y'all really, really need to take heed to how it affects them. Don't just look at it like it's not me. Oh, well. Because you really don't rock with that person if you feel like that. 